Is Kira Renee trolling viewers? She raised her subscription fee on Instagram twice. She's putting out clickbait videos on YouTube. And people on Reddit who hate watch Kira are saying they don't even want to hate watch anymore. In Kira's fresh start video where she apologizes, she said that she's tired of embarrassing herself and looking like a fool. And she wants this to be the last time anything is talked about when it comes to this. She wrote on the screen on my end because I obviously can't control the rest of the opinions. So I think she's making it pretty clear that she's not going to talk about this anymore. After the Fresh Start video, Kira posted this video titled, I'm 27 and not okay, and she turned off the comments. This is clickbait and Kira doesn't want the comments about how this is clickbait, so she turned off the comments. The not okay is because she saw how many views her last video got. So she thinks having a following video with saying she's not okay will get views too. Unfortunately, it probably will, but it doesn't make her suck any less. In fact, after this video, if people actually watch it and realize she's still a liar and didn't talk about not being okay, like even once, I think in the way that her title makes it seem, she'll lose her views. She's milking it and it's gross. She's very intentional and calculated. In reality, she's right. She's not okay, but she'll never truly admit it. At this point, I don't even watch any of her videos, even here. Her content is so bad, it's unwatchable. You know it's bad when snarkers can't even hate watch you. Kira posted a couple of reels on Instagram about her birthday. She said, thank you for all the sweet messages and kind birthday wishes. It wouldn't have been nearly as special without all of you. Even this comment is so out of touch because yeah, I mean, she gets some nice comments, but most of the comments left on anything she posts are snarky or they're just straight calling her out. A viewer said, as a newcomer, to this, I don't understand all the negative comments. Can someone fill me in? Check out the subreddit page. There's 15,000 people. This woman is nuts. She stole her best friend's husband. In Kira's Instagram live from November 15th, she said she wants to be viewers' positive place and inspiration. If possible, like your positive place, your, I feel like inspiration is a big thing. Like, but I do hope to be that. And I just, feel like me addressing things all the time or like talking about negative things or responding to negative comments like that doesn't create that space for you guys and so that's also a big motivation behind it sometimes I definitely will snap back because I just can't help it yeah, we know. She just can't help herself sometimes. Kira has said many times she doesn't mind confrontation, and I think we can all see that based on her behavior, her actions, and how she responds to things on the internet. Also, during this live, she brushes her teeth. I know, riveting content, right? She has an entire teeth brushing session, like all the sounds, everything. Freaking sink, man. Can you guys hear it, like, draining? Can you think of another job where you get to work also while brushing your teeth and spitting out your toothpaste? Yes, Kira's at work. She gets paid. Viewers pay extra to see Kira go live on Instagram. When she first started this Instagram subscription, it was $4.99, I believe. She recently increased it to $9.99, right around the time she put out the Fresh Start video. I'm not sure if it was right after, I think it was, right after the Fresh Start video. And then she increased it again to $19.99. If you're a sub, just so you know, she raised the fee from $4.99 to $9.99 without letting you know. I guess she decided to abuse her fans like she does her family and friends. I'm a sub and she didn't mention anything. This is a big change. This viewer tagged Kira and said, is this true? Based on the comments I've read from viewers, it seems like Kira did not let her subscribers know the price was going up. So someone mentioned this on Kira's November Live and this is what she said. I actually believe that's not true. Um, I, from what I read, 
those of you who subscribed on the price that you subscribed on, your subscription price will stay the same. Under monetization settings on Instagram, it says if you change your monthly price, it will only apply to new subscribers and existing subscribers will continue to pay the existing subscription fee. So that's why Kira did mention this to the current subscribers because it doesn't affect them. Their price will stay the same. This is what you get for $19.99 a subscriber badge, exclusive content, broadcast channels, ask me anything. Yeah, but she doesn't answer everything. Early access or releases and recipes. Kira's subscription is more than a Netflix subscription. Back in April of 2022, Kira made this video titled, I'm getting surgery, and it's all about her boob job. In this video, she states she's getting a boob job because she wants to get a boob job. She said her boobs look deflated, saggy, empty, and sad. Well, I'm gonna go get my boobs done. Like, I'm purely getting my boobs done for myself to feel more confident, not because I want to have them for like a future somebody, if that makes sense. She's lying in this video. This video was put up in April of 2022, and Kira later admits she started dating Preston in March of 2022. Here's a screenshot of my video that I posted in December of 2022 covering Kira's Instagram stories where she admits she started dating Preston in March. Recently in an Instagram live, someone asked what's Preston's type and listen to what Kira had to say about this. What's P's type? This is a really good question because he has an answer and I have an answer. What's your type, honey? What's your type? As long as she has like huge boobs, she doesn't even care what her face looks like. No standards there. He lucked out with me, but geez. Huge boobs. That's Preston's type. So do you really think Kira got those huge boobs for herself or for Preston? <laughs> he cannot give an answer. You know, you could never have this conversation with your man because they're always going to be like, you're yeah, my type. And you're like, oh, yeah, that I you click me on porno. Sure as hell not. Now she's going to talk about the type of pee Preston watches, which is so like... TMI. No one wants to know what type of pee you and Preston watch. And that's like the, that's the kicker. When you see what they're watching is when you really find out, oh yeah, no, that's what you like, huh? Kira likes to talk about what type of pee her man watches because on her podcast with Hannah called Beneath the Sheets, she told everybody what kind of pee Oscar watches. During this podcast, they're talking about threesomes and how they feel about threesomes. Like, to be honest, Oscar's definitely the no, which is funny because I definitely know that's the type of porn that he watches. But at the same time, he always says like, no, I think he just knows yeah. it wouldn't be a good idea. It's like a Kira also answers, well, Preston answers this question from a viewer. Did you guys find each other attractive when you started talking or were you guys not each other's type and fell more for personality? That's a really good question because I think this was something that like when we first started dating, it was a, such a big problem for everyone else. Look at her. She stopped breathing when Preston started to say this because I bet she's thinking, what in the hell is he about to say? This is on Instagram Live. There's no editing anything. She basically just tells him to shut up. Okay, this is where you keep your mouth shut because I don't even know what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> That's not where I was going. You drink your wine and you look at those scars. And Kira posted a video of her making save the dates for her wedding and the address stamp was totally visible in the video. What a huge mistake. She might have some viewers show up to her wedding. And of course she deleted that video. It's not up right now. What do you think about Kira saying she wants to be a positive place and inspiration for viewers? And also, why do you think she keeps telling everybody what type of pee her man watches? She did it to Oscar, now she did it to Preston. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines. I'll talk to you soon in the next video.